Ernie Randall uh, part five. I don't know how many parts I'm going to have, but I got I got more coming. You know, Ernie had uh, he drank. You know, and it's not unusual for construction workers back in the day to drink and to drink a lot. And uh, Ernie was no exception. Uh, but I couldn't catch him drinking on the job. You know, I mean, <laughs> I knew he was drinking, but I could never figure out how. And, you know, I could search him. I could look through his lunchbox. I thought that he was hiding a bottle of liquor on the, on the paving machine somewhere. And I looked. I could never ever find it. I could never find out how he was drinking. Later, I think after everything was said and done, or everything was over, I think that somebody revealed something to me, which I, I, I would answer the question. Is that since he was a dump man, and he was always back in the trucks into the paver, and he was going up the trucks getting tickets, it's theorized that some or a truck driver had a bottle of liquor that he carried for him. And so when he would go to the truck to get the ticket, he could sip, he could sneak a drink and nobody would know it. And then nobody, you could, you could search him, you could search him, you could never find it. That was the only thing that made sense because I, I could never catch him. And I, so I think that's probably what he was doing. But the, the funny thing about Ernie is that when you talk to him, you know, he could drink, he could, he could really hold his liquor. It's not like he got silly or goofy. But it, I noticed it, there's something unusual about him. It, it affected his balance. I mean, it, it was like his knees would get drunk. Now, this, 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 this sounds weird, but like, you know, one time I know he, he had been drinking because I had to put out a temporary pavement marking tape. And it's supposed to be in a straight line. And er, 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 Ernie's line just went, 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 went like that. And it had to be because he was drinking, you know. And otherwise, he could have done it straight. It's just strange. So one time, we got rained out. And uh, he said he needed a ride home. I said, sure, yeah, I'll give you a ride. So he gets my pickup truck. He says, yeah, he says, but before we go, you know, I... Got to stop it at a liquor store, and I, I, need, I need to get me a, a bottle of vodka. So, stop at a liquor store. He gets a bottle of vodka, and he's drinking. I'm not. I'm not drinking. But he's drinking, and I, I take him home, and we're stopped. We park on the street in front of his house or near his house, and we're having a we're having a real good conversation. You know, like I said, we we get we got along fantastic. And we're just talking about all kinds of things, talk about blues music, talk about all kinds of stuff. And so he's got to pee, you know, so he gets out of my pickup truck and he goes behind a tree to pee. And it was the most incredible thing I ever saw because he was like this and he, he was behind the tree, but he fell over sideways he fell over sideways right down to the ground and like his knees never moved and it was just sideways and there he's laying on the ground i couldn't I, I was shocked so i i noticed that although you couldn't tell it when he was talking to him it seemed like that alcohol went right to his knees